Not so long ago, it was just the greens and hippies calling for its introduction. Solar energy was a concept that seemed to either be the answer to all our dreams or just a flash in the pan. Well, the answer is somewhere in the middle. Welcome to the solar panel. Every house should have one. The concept of solar energy is simple. Panels soak up the sun's rays and transform it into electricity with mounted photovoltaic cells. The blue plate is made of crystalline silicon and the grooves are the conductors. To make a solar panel, several of the modules have to be connected together, applied with a soldering flux. The solder wire is heated with an iron and the modules are placed on a special support. Once the soldering is done, the modules are cleaned by ultrasound in water at 60 degrees centigrade. When dried and perfectly clean, they're ready to be modified. Now they can proceed with soldering the modules together. First, a flux is applied, which improves the quality of the soldering. With great dexterity, four groups are assembled, composing of nine modules each. In this way, 36 modules are soldered and connected in series. Modules are assembled end-to-end -end and have to be handled with great care. Using a voltmeter, the voltage of each section is verified. At this stage, it's easy to remake a solder connection if there's a problem. If the voltage is adequate, suction grips attach themselves to the nine rows of modules. In this way, there's no danger of contaminating the screens. The modules are placed in position. Then a metallic strip is inserted, which acts as a conductor, linking all the modules. A soldered connection finishes the job. Then a transparent sheet of layered glass is set. This serves as a rigid transparent form, which will support the modules. The rigidity of the form is enhanced by a laminate sheet. Finally, a sealing film is applied for protection. To laminate and stiffen the solar panel, it's placed in a hermetically sealed, heated oven with the air vacuumed out. The panel will cook at 80 degrees centigrade for 15 minutes. And once it exits the oven, all the components are bonded together. The panel is placed in a solar simulator for testing. Negative and positive contacts of the solar panel are connected to a voltmeter. The panel is inserted into the simulator and a powerful lamp will illuminate it. The voltmeter is ready to make sure that the panels supply the electric current required. Different panels require different builds. Here an amorphous silicon panel is being constructed. The panel is placed into a plastic frame and glued in place. Then the frame is screwed tight so that it won't move. The solar panel is put into a plastic frame and is now completed. Fabrication of this panel will have required about one hour of work and demand is sure to heighten as dual energy houses start to become a necessity.